Two bombs were planted on this Cuban airline. We were to run a full full time. We had an explosion and we are defended immediately. We had to fire on board. Seventy-three civilians died, 57 of them Cubans, all of them innocent. They were victims of anti-Cuba right-wing terrorists who operate from Miami. These terrorists destroyed the plane simply because it was Cuban. As the pilots yelled, shut the door, the plane crashed off the coast of Barbados. At that point, the deadliest airline bombing ever in the Western Hemisphere. For Cuba, it was a national catastrophe. Within days, Fidel Castro pinned the blame on the United States. The CIA is behind these deeds, Castro declared. At the State Department, Henry Kissinger came to the cameras to issue a blanket denial. The United States had absolutely nothing to do with any of its uh, organs in the uh, explosion of the Cuban airliner. In Boston on that day, Kissinger went further, saying, I can state categorically, no one in contact with the American government has had anything to do with the bombing. Several of the declassified documents suggest that is not true. On June 22, 1976, a secret CIA memo titled Possible Plans of Cuban Exile Extremists to Blow Up a Cuban Airliner was sent to top officials at the White House, State Department, FBI, Pentagon, and the FAA. The memo warned that Cuban exiles may attempt to carry bombs aboard a Cubana airliner. A little over three months later, anti-Castro exiles did just that, and almost immediately, Evidence started to point to the CIA's old agent, Luis Posada. A then-secret FBI cable says that on October 7th, the day after the plane went down, a source all but admitted Posada and an associate engineered the bombing. Another document outlines the contacts between Hernan Ricardo, one of those who actually carried the bombs onto the plane, and an FBI agent working at the U.S. Embassy in Venezuela. The agent helped Ricardo get a U.S. visa just five days before the bombing. In March 2005, Posada illegally entered the United States and is currently detained by Homeland Security only because of public pressure. But the Bush administration may soon let Posada go free. In Texas, there will be an immigration hearing for Luis Posada Carriles, an alleged terrorist wanted on murder charges in Venezuela and Cuba. The Bush administration, which proclaims a zero-tolerance policy on terrorism, has approached this case differently. Luis Posada is clearly proud of a life devoted to overthrowing Fidel Castro. Now he wants his reward, asylum in the U.S., even though there is overwhelming evidence that he is a terrorist. Posada is accused of engineering the 1976 bombing of a Cuban airliner. 73 civilians were killed, and he has publicly admitted orchestrating a string of deadly hotel bombings in Havana in 1997. Extra Posada to Venezuela now! The Answer Coalition has led a campaign to demand Posada's extradition to Venezuela to stand trial for the plane bombing. The Bush administration might want to sweep this case away and find some third way. But justice requires one way, and justice requires that Posada Carias be extradited to Venezuela to stand trial for the bombing of Cubana Airlines 455. The families of Posada's victims want resolution. They've waited 29 years. Isn't it time for justice? Lilia Carithá's brother was killed in the 1976 Cuban plane bombing. No, 
puedo olvidar aquel momento, que fue un día bastante triste para toda mi familia, que no nos hemos podido recuperar jamás, porque no nos adaptamos a la idea de que con tan solo 22 años tuviera la muerte tan negra y tan triste que recibió. Y quisiera pedirle al pueblo de Estados Unidos que no alberguen a carriles ahí en ese país. Si fue capaz de hacernos a nosotros lo que nos hizo, a ustedes se los hará igual. Quisiera pedirles de favor que se unan a los sentimientos tan tristes que nos embargan a nosotros. Que luchen para que no los dejen ahí. Join the answer campaign to demand Posada's extradition. Send a letter to Bush and Congress on our website.